Hey guys, welcome back to Jason Jody Builds. Uh, we're back in the shop today, gonna do a quick video slash update on our seats. Uh, I guess uh, it was a month and a half ago, right around anyways, we installed our front uh, seats from Tom's and then we pulled out our rear fold and tumble. We found out we had two different materials and you guys heard the story. I, I called and it took six months to get them and then we figured it was gonna take another six months. Well, Tom's came through for me. So <laughs> it, uh, we actually got this a week ago. So we were heading out of town, hadn't had time to mess with it, but uh, it matches the front seats perfectly. It looks really good. So we'll, we'll show you guys here in a minute you know, the, how they actually look installed. But again, we want to get this mounted and drilled, get all of our holes drilled. So if I happen to scratch it up, I need to scratch it now and not scratch it when we paint it. So, uh, just want to go through a video of installing these real quick. So hopefully it'll help you guys out because the, my bed doesn't have any holes in it at all. So I don't, I don't have any reference point for where the the holes were for the rear seat or uh, seat belt mounts or anything. And luckily my seat belts will mount to our new roll cage. So that's not a, such a big deal. So this, we just kind of put it where we want it. Other than <clears throat> I think I'll measure my, the original 66 uh, bed I still have out behind the shop. And it has the two holes in the back where your latch mounts to it. And, uh, and it was 15 inches from the back edge of the rear support. So at least I know I have a close reference where I need to put this. But this thing is pretty, pretty simple. It comes with a couple brackets. It comes with that, that bracket there and a bag full of bolts and a couple bushings. You just gotta pop your bushings in your bracket here and from there we're gonna just install them on the seat itself so right now i've got the seat upside down i know it's hard to tell here's your headrest and this way it just folds back forward into the bronco okay so the first thing uh, the instructions tell you to do is find your e-clip after you've pushed your your nylon bushing into your bracket and this is kind of confusing because both of these rods both have detents for the e-clip but the more you look at the picture like i said it's uh, the instructions aren't real good but the pictures were able to help explain it a little bit better but anyways we just need to push in the material slide our bracket in and then Push on the e-clip here. All right. Let Joni get a little closer picture of that. So basically, what you what's happening is as the seat's rotating, this comes down and pinches all that material all up in it, and probably cuts it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but anyways, it's underneath, so it's not something that you would see. But Kind of a sharp edge there. Oh. You may have to wrap it in some felt or something. Yeah. So that's one side. Let's go ahead and get the other. Just push the material in. Right. There we go. Okay, so got our brackets on so what I want to do now is just try to roll the seat back in here I'm gonna take the backrest with it try to keep from beating up my, my bronco I'll get the paper out from underneath it when we get it rolled Fifteen inches, John. From the center of the bolt hole. Yes. So center of the bolt hole to, to this bracket, and actually it's sitting right on top of these ribs. 
And right now it's in the center of those ribs, which is good. But I'm, I don't want to. Okay, gonna, so are you measuring from the bolt hole to the very edge here? To the very edge. Okay, just making sure we're clear on that. Yeah, center of the bolt, bolt hole to the edge of the, the bed here. And that's just with this thing clipped in place. Actually, I have it right at the very back edge. I might want to. Yeah, I almost made a mistake. I don't know that it really matters, but I'm going to make sure I have that in the center of this bar. So I probably need to go back forward. Yeah. A half an inch. So what I did is I, I pulled a, a dimension from the center of my hole here to the back and then uh, for now from the back of this bumper to the back it's 16 inches on both sides. And then I'm looking at the gap between the seat and the wheel well to make sure I'm consistent. Okay, so our seat is where we want it now, and what I'm going to do, I don't know if you guys can tell, is these brackets are sitting right on top of the gap here, and so now there's this gap underneath the bed, so I'm going to have to um, get some flat stock and build uh, two spacers so I don't just tighten all that together and you'd end up kind of deforming all that steel. And we didn't do all this work to, <laughs> to do that. So that won't be a big deal. It's not a showstopper. It's something I can do later. I can get it mocked in today and we can test it out, but that's something that'll definitely have to happen later. So, so all I'm gonna do is just reach in here with a Sharpie and mark the holes. Mark your pinky. Don't break the marker. What? Mark your pinky like I showed you to do last it won't time. Go through there. It will. Come on. There's other ways of doing things. See? Uh, a flexible Sharpie. But you've never seen that heavy jump. Just don't touch your seat with that hand. No, it's it's got a plastic. Thing on it. Okay, whatever. Maybe they hadn't seen it either. Mm-hmm. And this is what happens to all my Sharpies. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one. Are they gonna get my, my stupid socks? Well, it's okay, you didn't wanna mess up the thing. Nice socks. Shut it. <laughs> All right. This isn't, I'm not putting it together right. I'm gonna have two, one bolt on each side at the front. And I'm just using the smaller bolts here at the back. Because actually, this is also your seat belt mount location, so where your seat belts come through, they tie in here, and then you gotta have your brace underneath it. So I'm gonna have to also, when I cut pieces for spacers on our front mounts, I'm gonna make two plates here, just a wider plate, basically just a big washer is all it is to help strengthen this portion up underneath the bed where your seat belt is. And then you use your harder seat belt grade eight bolts so 
Anyways, let me just tighten that down a little bit and then we can operate this thing and we'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, let's see what it looks like. What do you think? I think it's much. It's nice. I like it. And the headrests, the headrests come up also. Yeah, this actually know. came in when Jason was out of town, and Presley and I were replaying with it. <laughs> so she she unboxed it for me and checked it. Well, there was a kind of a large hole in one side, which kind of scared me, and I wanted to double check, make sure it was okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, you see fingerprints and smudges all over it because the dust on the Bronco. So I keep trying to wipe it off, but it just keeps coming back. Let's we'll see what it looks like to fold it up. Like that. So it folds up and holds it. Stays up out of the way, so if you need to use your bed. I like it. Yeah, looks good. Functions well. Yeah, so I can't wait to see it with the roll bar and everything else. Well, we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hopefully, uh, if you get you one of these seats, maybe it'll help you a little bit. Like I said, it wasn't it wasn't a, a bad install. It, it's just uh, I didn't have holes to go by. So, but it's there. Looks good. Uh, thank you to Tom's if they happen to be watching for getting this thing to me so quick. Well, I, I certainly appreciate it. And um, y'all stay tuned for the next video. <laughs> so we're just kind of jumping around, but we're getting getting all these little final details done so we can get the body work finished. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care. Bye.